hello everyone welcome back to the map of mathematics in this video we are going to solve this nice algebra problem and here we have n and its fourth root plus 97 minus n and its fourth root equals to 5 and we will solve this problem for the real values of n so here you remember one thing is that we will solve this for only real values so the very first thing we are going to do is here first uh, we take uh, this expression equals to a and this expression equals to b so that this will be comes in this form a equals to n and its fourth root and similarly b equals to 97 minus n and its fourth root okay so uh, after that we will take the uh, fourth power on both of the sides so that this expression will become in this form a to the power of 4 equals to n and similarly we will take the fourth power on uh, this term on both of the sides and we will get here b to the power of 4 equals to 97 minus n and now in the next step we will put here the values of a and b in this equation so that our this equation will be looks like in this form a plus b equals to 5 and we will name this as equation number 1 and similarly when we add these two uh, equations then we will obtain here a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 equals to here you have plus n and minus n are cancelled by each other and we will obtain 97 and we named this as equation number 2 and now in the next step uh, we will uh, first simplify our equation number 1 uh, and now we will take the square on equation number 1 on both of the sides so here I can just write our equation number 1 implies and we will take the squares on both of the sides so you get a plus b whole squared equals to 5 squared and now we open this square and you will get a squared plus 2 times of a b plus b squared equals to the square of 5 equals to 25 and now we will rearrange the terms and here we move this 2 a b in the right hand side and we will get here a squared plus b squared equals to 25 minus 2 times of a b and in the next step we will again take the square on this term on both of the sides and we will use here again this nice formula and you will get its output in this form a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 plus 2 times of a squared and b squared equals to we will open here 25 square and uh, you know that 25 square equals to 625 and plus 2 times of a b squared equals to 4 times of a squared and b squared and minus 2 times of a b and it will be equals to 100 times of uh, a b so now uh, here you have the terms in which we will open the square on both of the sides and now we will uh, rearrange the terms and we will get its output in this form so here you see that we have a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 and now uh, we will use here our equation number 2 and our equation number 2 e equals to a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 equals to 97 so now we use here this value in this equation so that it will be looks like in this form 97 plus 2 times of a squared and b squared uh, so here you have 2 times of a squared and b squared equals to 625 plus 4 times of a squared and b squared and uh, we have minus 100 times of a b so now we will again uh, simplify the terms and we move all the terms in the left hand side to the right hand side and it will be equals to 4 times of a squared and b squared and we have minus 100 times of a b 
and plus 625 and we move this 97 in the right hand side and it will becomes minus 97 and when we move this two times of a square b square and it will becomes minus two times of a squared and b squared equals to zero so here we just add or subtract the like terms and we will get four times of a squared b squared minus two times of a squared b squared equals to two times of a squared and b squared and here we have minus 100 times of a b and we have 625 minus 97 uh, so uh, it is equals to plus 528 and this whole equals to zero so that in the next step we will divide both each of the term by a 2 and you will just uh, simplify the terms here and we obtain 2 times of a square b square over 2 minus 100 times of a b over 2 and 528 over 2 and 0 over 2 so here you see that these two are gone and we will get here a squared b squared minus 50 times of a b plus we divide 2 by 528 and you will get here 264 and this whole equals to 0 and in the next step we will just take uh, uh, some simplifications here and uh, here we make some substitution in which we have y equals to a b so when you put y equals to ab in this equation then it will be becomes in standard form of quadratic equation so that we will get here y squared minus 50 times of y plus 264 equals to 0. So in the next step we will just solve here this nice uh, uh, quadratic equation uh, and now uh, here we make the factors of this equation and we will write it as y squared minus we can make the factors of this equation as 44 times of y minus 6 times of y and plus 264 equals to 0 because here you have 44 times of 6 equals to 264 and when we add these two terms then you will get here minus 50y so uh, now we will take common here uh, y from the first two terms and it will becomes in this form y times of y minus 44 and we take common minus 6 and you get here y minus uh, 44 equals to 0 and now we will take common here y minus 54 on both of the terms and you get y minus 6 equals to 0 so that here we have two cases the first case is we write y minus 44 equal to 0 and our second case is we write y minus 6 equals to 0 and in the next step uh, you will easily get the value of y equals to 44 and here you get the value of y equals to 6 so now we will solve these two cases one by one and uh, now we first put the value of y and you see that we have our y equals to a b so we put the value of this y here and you will obtain a b equals to 44 and similarly here you get a b equals to 6 and in the start of the problem we will put the values of a and b and you know that uh, our a equals to uh, n and its whole power 4 you have these two values this is the value of a and this is the value of b so we will back substitute these two values here and you will get n and its fourth root into this is the value of a and the value of b is the fourth root of 97 minus n equals to 44 and similarly this expression will becomes the fourth root of n multiplied by fourth root of 97 minus n equals to 6 so here you take fourth power on both of the sides 
then you will obtain here n times of 97 minus n equals to 44 and its whole power 4. So now we will simplify the terms and you will get here n squared minus 97 n and plus 44 and its whole power 4 equals to 0. So this will be looks like in quadratic form and now first I can check is this equation has real roots or not. So that now we will check this quadratic equation by using the discriminant formula so that here we have a equals to 1 b equals to minus 97 and c equals to 44 and its whole power 4. So our discriminant formula will be looks like in this form delta equals to b squared minus 4 times of ac and now we put all the values of a b and c here and you will obtain uh, minus 97 squared minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 44 and its whole power 4. So here you see that our value is less than 0. So this means that this quadratic queen has no real root. So this expression not gives us the real root so that we will reject it this case and here we can just proceed this case only. So in this case uh, we will again take the fourth power on both of the sides then you will get here n times of 97 minus n equals to 6 to the power of 4 and we will get here 97 times of n minus n square equals to 2 we have 6 to the power of 4 and we write it as 6 squared times of 6 squared and now we move all the terms in the left hand side to the right hand side so that it will becomes uh, in this form um, n squared minus 97 times of n minus we have this is 36 times of 36 so here we again write this expression as 9 n squared minus 97 times of n minus we write this 36 as 9 times of 4 and this 36 as 9 times of 4 equals to 0. So that we will multiply this 9 by 9 and 4 by 4 and you will get here n squared minus 97 times of n minus 81 multiplied by 16 equals to 0. So here uh, we will write this 97 as n squared minus 81 n minus 16 times of n minus 81 times of 16 equals to 0 because here you see that 81 minus 16 equals to 97 and now we take common n here and you get n minus 81 and here you take common minus 16 and you will get here uh, just uh, Sorry, here we have some mistake and this is the plus 36 times of 36. So this value uh, be the positive value so that here we take common 16 and you get here n minus 81 equals to 0. So that here we have n minus 81 times of n minus 16 equals to 0. And finally we will get here n equals to 81 into 16. So these are the two real roots of the given equation and this is the our final answer of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos